From beer to bullets and bombs for war to big V8 Corvettes, for generations, St. Louis built America. That momentum has since faded. Many jobs were shipped overseas or companies sold out. But tonight, St. Louis is reclaiming part of its past, contributing for the future. And it all revolves around this property, Drone 4 is flying over in South City, which will soon be a first of its kind for America. St. Louis's automotive industry once rivaled Detroit's. Now, the nearly half billion dollar development at that South City site will fuel the future auto industry. Good evening. I'm Corey Stark. And I'm Samantha Jones. And tonight, News 4's Nathan Vickers is live from that site near the River De Pere and I 55, detailing the one of a kind lithium battery plant that is now a go. Nathan. That's right. There's 150 jobs coming here to the ICL manufacturing plant here in the Carondelet neighborhood. This also means that there could be some opportunities out there for Midwest cities like St. Louis, especially as companies continue to invest in these kinds of emerging technologies. And people here in this neighborhood told me today they're excited to see those kinds of manufacturing jobs returning. <laughs> a local bar is a gathering place. Everybody from the neighborhood gets together in here. And it's kind of like cheers. <laughs> place where Bobby Archer and others who grew up in the Carondelet neighborhood come to talk about the changes they've seen over the years. As manufacturers have left the area, so have many families and businesses, leaving behind blighted buildings. People started moving out. It's not the same neighborhood it used to be. But then all neighborhoods change. But he's encouraged by news of an expansion at one nearby company. Today, ICL Manufacturing broke ground on a $400 million facility for producing components for electric vehicle batteries. It is going to be the future of our country. It's going to be the future of the state. And if you're not in, you're going to get left behind. Today, Governor Mike Parson, along with Secretary of Energy Jennifer Granholm, stressed the importance of revitalizing American manufacturing through clean energy. It certainly is a smart strategy for a nation that wants to be independent of uh, monopolies in other nations. Both said Midwestern cities hold potential for those new markets. I think when you look in the middle of the United States, whether it's the battery plants or wherever, people want to be able to get the merchandise in and out. So I think that's an advantage we have. Archer is a little skeptical of electric cars. Whether, you know, any of us like it or not, they're going electric. You know, they're going to have to do something. But as someone who spent a career in manufacturing. A lot of people right here in this neighborhood that aren't working. He's glad to see an investment in the community he remembers. This is a great neighborhood. You know, you can't let a few bad apples kill a neighborhood. Well, nearly half of that funding for this new facility at ICL came from a federal grant. And the Secretary of Energy says the government is also uh, wanting to invest in or wanting to help develop companies that recycle uh, EV batteries in order to offset the amount of materials that they need to create new EV batteries. Reporting live in St. Louis, Nathan Vickers, News 4. Some good news for the St. Louis region, Nathan. Thank you. The ICL plant in South City is expected to be up and running by 2025. Now, other big St. Louis industry investments include General Motors, $1.5 billion at the Winsville truck plant. And right now, Boeing is working on a $1.8 billion plan to expand its operations at St. Louis's facility at Lambert Airport. Less